Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we got a great one for you today. We're working with Divi 5 again, and they've just upgraded their Woo modules, so we thought we'd make a little product page here. So today we're going to have an automatic product slider on the right-hand side here and some products on the left. The slider itself is sticky, so it'll stay there as we scroll down the page. Of course, if you click on something, it'll take you to the product. So let's get started, really easy to do. I'm going to start a new page. I'll close our existing pages down. And we'll give it a name. And of course, we use the Divi Builder. Now, of course, to make this happen today, you've got to have WooCommerce installed, it's a free plugin. And once you have it installed, you need to create some products. And if you're not sure, how to create products, have a look at our Divi e-commerce video. It's for Divi 4, but the system hasn't changed. As you can see, I've got a bunch of products in here, so we'll be using those today. Now they've got various categories I've put them in, such as clearance, fashion, pants, things like that. You can select specific categories. I'm going to throw all my products into one page on this one. Just wanted to explain that to anybody that not used WooCommerce before. I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch. Let's add a row. I'm going to use something like this with slightly larger on the left than the right, but it's entirely up to you what you use for yours. And I'm going to roll down on the left hand side. I'm going to use Woo modules. And we're going to select Woo products right here for this particular one. As you can see, it's thrown them all in there. A button's not big enough, really. I want to make our sales badge that pink. And I'm also going to expand this by making our row full width too. Now let's take a look at this. We're actually in the Woo products module here. You can select a specific type if you want to here. If I go down a product category, it's going to show all our categories here. Like I say, I'm going to leave mine just as it is. So it's got a sort of random pick of categories right there. You can decide which elements you want to show, such as pagination, name, image, price, etc. We don't need pagination, pagination because all of our products are actually going to fit onto this page here. Like I say, it's a little squashed up there. So once I've taken you through the settings on the Woo products here, I'm going to make that row full width, as I mentioned earlier. Don't want a background or anything like that. Let's go in to our design. Now, one thing I have noticed about these Woo modules, all of our options here are expanded rather than having a little arrow to click on them and expand them, which makes for a bit of scrolling and maybe a bug, or it may be they might have designed it this way on purpose. I want to go down to my sales badge here. And we'll pop in the color that I want for my sales badge. Perfect. Okay, like I say, that's a little bit squished up for me. So if we go back to our content right here, we've got column layout. I think I'm only going to have three in mind. As you can see, by default, it's adding four. So let's change that to three. And also, let's make this row full width on desktop. That way, we can see them a little bit better. So go into the row. Once in the row, we can go over to design. Once in design, we can roll down to sizing. Here it is right here. Width, I'm going to make that 100. We've got percentage on the end there, so that's perfect. And max width, I want to make that 102, but we need to select percentage on the end of there to make it. That's better, and we'll give it a little bit of space either side. So we're still in the row. I'll roll down a little bit more to my spacing here. And left and right, let's try 5%. Put in five and select the percentage. I think that looks about right. We'll do the same for the other side. Perfect. Great. Well, it's got our products. Like I say, you can select whatever products you want for yours. And then on this side, we're going to have an automatic slider as you saw before. And for this, I'm actually going to use just a regular slider module with the new loop feature. So let's do that. I'm going to add a new module. For this one, like I say, I'm going to use the slider right here, just a regular slider. Now then, what do we want to put in it? Well, let's go in there. So we're in our slider now. I'm going to get rid of the second slide. It puts two in by default there. I'm happy for it to show arrows and show controls. I'm not going to put any link in because we're going to loop this in a moment. Well, let's go back up. We're going to go into one of the slides itself at the moment. So I'm going to go into the slide. 
I'm going to roll down. I'm not going to put anything in my slide at all there. I'm going to come back to that in a moment. I'm going to go down. I'm actually going to loop this slide. So if we roll down, loop, we're under content, we're on the slide. Let's hit that. What do I want to show? I want to show products. So we'll get rid of the posts there. Roll down a little bit. Got products on the bottom there. Select the categories you want in there. Let's put in dresses, bags, on sale, and shoes maybe. Obviously put in whatever categories you want. I'm really not going to change much else there. Now I've got this looped. You can see by the pagination dots, it's thrown in all those products from our various categories here. But how do we get them to show here? Well, I want the featured image, or basically the image of the product itself, to be the background. I want the product price to be a title. Don't think I'm going to have a description. And I think my button will just say buy now. So still in the slide, still under the content, we can go back up to the top. Under the title, that's where I wanted to have the actual price itself. So I'm going to hit the little dynamic content icon there. Loop product, regular price. Perfect. And we can change the font and everything like that over in the styling. Now before it, I want to have a dollar sign. So it's a price. We'll hit apply. The button, I want that to say buy now. Or options or sizes, whatever you want to do with yours. And down here, I'm actually just going to have the product title. So again, hit the dynamic product title. You want to have your info in there you can put that in there as well i'm happy with just the title though great well, let's apply that roll down a little bit more button link we need to roll over that one again get the tiny disc icon up there we want to loop the product link so it takes us to that specific product perfect roll down a little bit more and background i'm going to lose the background color i'm going to add a background image and for the background image itself, roll over the gray writing that says background image there. We're going to do the same thing. Dynamic content. We want the loop product featured image as the background. Perfect. Now I want to make this almost the size of our desktop page here. So it's somewhere down here. I need to make that writing a little bit clearer there. And then we'll stick it to the top and make it rotate automatically. So let's do that. Over in design, remember we're still in just the single slide here. Not going to use an overlay. I might use a text overlay just to make that price stand out a little bit more. That works perfectly for me. And we'll roll down a little bit more. Navigation. It's going to have some little arrows right and left. You can see one of them there. I think those are fine. You can choose a color if you want to. And the dot nav on the bottom. Again, you can choose a custom color. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Image, I really don't need to do anything to that or the border styles. Don't want any box shadow or filters. Take that, I think. At the moment, it's aligned to the middle. If I pop it on the left, everything will be on the left. I quite like that. I think I might leave it just like that. But of course, that's entirely up to you. Now, the title text, that's our price right there. Let's make that bold, perhaps. H2 is fine. Title font weight. Let's make that bold. So it stands out a little bit more there. And the actual heading title itself, which is our text down below body text right here i just mean to make that a little bit bigger Let's make it perhaps 30 pixels see how that looks i think that'll do if you wanted to of course you could make it semi-bold or bold i think that's going to work for me great well now we need to go into our spacing if we keep rolling down a little bit more below sizing we've got spacing here on the top padding Let's try 50% of the viewable height of whatever device they're looking on. See what that does. So I'm going to type in 50. I'm going to select VH or viewable height from here. A little bit too much. Let's take that down to 40 and see what happens. Yeah, I think that's about right. About the size I want it. Obviously, you can just to taste. We'll leave it just like that. Now I want it to roll around each product individually. So what we need to do now is go back to the slide and hit this. So we go back to the main carousel settings. 
for the slider. Over in design, all the way down to the bottom, you'll find animations. Now, if you don't find animations at the bottom, it probably means you're in one of your slides. If I go back to the content and go into one of the slides, or our only slide here, go to design and roll down the bottom, there's no animation. There's no automatic animation. And this question comes up every time I make a slider. Somebody says, I can't find it. It's not there. Well, if it's not there, you're probably in your slide and not your main slider. So just go back one into the design once more, drag it all the way down to the bottom. There we'll find automatic animation. Just switch it to on. I'm going to have my animate maybe four seconds, let's say 4,000 milliseconds. And I want it to continue slide on hover. I'm going to leave that off so that with it off, when they put their mouse over it on the front end, it's actually going to stop so they can read it, look at the picture and click on the little button if they want to. Great. Just out of interest, I want to make one slight adjustment here to our text. Maybe if I put it on the right hand side, I just thought about that, may make it look a bit bigger. So again, we need to go back into our slide to make this happen. Back over design. Down to text. Here it is. Let's float that on the right and see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that's okay. And finally, I wanted this actual slider when we roll up the page to pretty much stay exactly where it is. So we can do that very easily. Again, let's go back to the slider, main slider settings themselves. And I'm going to go over to advanced, roll down you're going to find scroll effects, stick, stick to top. That's great. But I want a little bit of a gap there, maybe something like this. Let's try 80 pixels, sticky top offset. We'll try it 80 and the pixel sign. That's perfect. Let's wait till a darker image comes in. That's a little too much. We can take it down. And realign it just by using our little arrows here something like that that's going to work it's going to stay there when they roll up the page great well if we've done everything correctly now this should work for us let's save draft and we'll preview the page and there we have it we've got our little products there on the left and we've got our slider on the right here if i roll down a bit slide is going to stay exactly where it is roll back up perfect and we can go on we can add to the cart we can go here we can buy the products really easy to do and for anybody that's wondering if i hit my f12 key let's have a look on tablet and mobile here we have it on an iphone 12 we've got two columns here you can adjust these columns on mobile as well that works for me and we've got our little slider at the bottom. If you wanted to, you could go to mobile version and flip it around the other way so the slider's on the top. Anybody that doesn't know how to do that one, if we go over here, we go down to mobile version there, and we'll go into the row itself. If we go over to design and layout, it's going to be flex by default. If we just switch it around the other way, just on mobile, you'll have your slider at your top and your products underneath there. You may want to take the sticky off for that because the products are sliding under there. Again, to do that, just want to go into the slider itself. On mobile, we want to take the sticky off over in advanced. All the way down to the bottom. Do not stick. Perfect. It'll still stick on desktop and on tablet. That's fine. It's working fine on tablet. We could change the row structure a little bit to 50 50 maybe just to give this a little more space but i think that's going to be fine then on desktop of course it's working working perfectly so there you go guys there's the new divi 5 let's get rid of this and create a simple product page using great looper for your slider and then just of course pulling in your product categories on the left hand side here works absolutely perfectly so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have any questions please pop them down below i'll do my best to answer them for you 
or make a little demo video just like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.